Hello friends, welcome back. Dear students, we are discussing chapter number 10, Kingdom Animalia. Yesterday, we have discussed part 1, basis of animal classification. Today, I am with you to discuss the remaining portion of basis of animal classification. Kal humne discuss kiya tha basis of animal classification, jis mein humne teen features discuss kar liye the. Levels of organization and number two, classification of animals on the basis of germ layers in embryo that is diploblastic animals and triploblastic animals or sub se last mein humne symmetry or symmetry ke basis pe classification ko discuss kiya tha. Dear students, aaj hum start karenge classification of triploblastic animals on the basis of coelom. Today, we will discuss classification of triploblastica, triploblastic animals on what basis? On the basis of coelom, body cavity. On the basis of coelom, triploblastica are divided into three groups, acelomates, pseudocelomates and eucelomates. So, first of all, we will define coelom. What is coelom? The coelom is a body cavity found in which animals? It is found in triploblastic animals. And on the basis of coelom, triploblastica are subdivided into how many groups? Three groups, named as acelomates, pseudocelomates, and eucelomates. Dear students, yaad rakhiyega coelom body cavity meso derm se derive ki jati hai. What is origin of coelom? Coelom is derived from mesoderm or mesoderm kaun se animal ke paas hota hai? Mesoderm triploblastic animals ke paas hota hai, unke embryo mein present hota hai aur jiske mesoderm se in animals mein coelom produce hota hai. To sabse pehle hum triploblastica ke pehle group ko discuss karenge acelomata or acelomates a means without and coelo means body cavity what are acelomates triploblastic animals that lack a body cavity are called acelomates dear students triploblastic animals jis mein body cavity nahi pai jati unko kya kehte hain acelomates ek hi phylum isme place kiya gaya hai flat worms platyhelminthes are acelomates number 2 Pseudo coelomates. Pseudo means false and coelom means body cavity. Having false body cavity. A pseudo coelom is a body cavity where it is present. It is present between mesoderm and endoderm. This is diagram be clear karenge ki kese ye coelom uh, endoderm or mesoderm ke space me paya jata hai. Only one phylum is included in pseudo coelomata round worms, phylum nematoda or baki jo remaining five phyla hai dear students usko hum place karenge u coelomata mein or u coelomates mein jinke paas true coelom hota hai what are u coelomates animals with true coelom are called u coelomates jinke paas true coelom hota hai then what is true coelom when coelom is lined on all the sides by mesoderm it is called true coelom wo coelom jo completely mesoderm ke andar paya jata hai jiske har taraf mesoderm present hoga it is lined by all the sides by mesoderm it is called true coelom aur jo five phyla hain unme dear students true coelom paya jata hai wo five phyla kaun se hain from annelida to cardata the coelom is located within mesoderm तो dear students यहां पे जो pseudocelomates हैं उनका coelom कहां present है mesoderm और endoderm के बीच में और eucelomates में coelom कहां present है it is totally present within the mesoderm तो अब हम इन दोनों coelom का diagram देखेंगे now dear students this is pseudocelom false coelom present in nematoda आप देखें ये जो outermost layer है इसको हम पढ़ाते हैं ectoderm उसके बाद ये जो आपको red color में नदर आ रहा है this is mesoderm और yellow color में endoderm 
Now look at this coelom present between endoderm and mesoderm. This is called false coelom pseudocoelom. So where pseudocoelom is present? Dear students, it is present between mesoderm and endoderm in phylum nematoda. And this is the diagram showing true coelom. True coelom, outermost germ layer is ectoderm. This is shown in red color mesoderm and in yellow color endoderm. Now, see, the last mein, inner layer hai, dear students, ye endoderm. Hai. Uske upar mesoderm. Hai. To kya hota hai? Ke phylum anelida se chordata tak jo bhi animals aa gaye usme mesoderm split ho jata hai do layers mein outer mesoderm and inner mesoderm outer mesoderm and inner mesoderm ye mesoderm ke do layers split ho gaye outer mesoderm aur inner mesoderm outer mesoderm aur inner mesoderm ke beech mein jo space hai usko triocoelom kaha jata hai triocoelom now what is triocoelom dear student triocoelom is lined on all the sides by mesoderm. So this is the difference between false coelom and true coelom. Next, the eucoelomata are further divided into two groups, protostomes and deuterostomes. On what basis? On the basis of fate of blastopore, future of blastopore. Dear students, eucoelomata, genmetriocoelom, प्रेजेंट होता है उनको फर्दर दो ग्रुप्स में डिफाइन किया गया है प्रोटोस्टोम्स और ड्यूटेरोस्टोम्स किसके बेसिस पे फेट और फ्यूचर ऑफ ब्लास्टोपोर तो सबसे पहले हम डिस्कस करेंगे ब्लास्टोपोर को डियर स्टूडेंट्स एक एम्ब्रियो होता है ट्रिपलोब्लास्टिक एम्ब्रियो गेस्टुला उसके अंदर एक कैविटी पाई जाती है और कैंटीरॉन आर्केंट्रीनॉन के ओपनिंग को ब्लास्टोपोर कहते हैं तो सबसे पहले हम ब्लास्टोपोर को डिफाइन करेंगे दिस इज ट्रिपलो ब्लास्टिक एम्ब्रियो दिस ट्रिपलो ब्लास्टिक एम्ब्रियो इज कॉल गेस्टुला अब गेस्टुला में यहां पे आपको एक कैविटी नजर आएगी और कैंटीरॉन द कैविटी ऑफ गेस्टुला इज कॉल और कैंटीरॉन आगे चलकर इस और कैंटीरॉन से गट डेवलप होगा एलिमेंट्री केनाल डेवलप होगा और यह है और कैंटीरॉन का ओपनिंग और कैंटीरॉन का ओपनिंग the opening of arkentiron is called blastopore what is blastopore opening of arkentiron is called blastopore to iske future pe do animals ke group humko padhne hain protostomes aur deuterostomes eucoelomata are divided into two groups protostomes and deuterostomes on the basis of fate future of blastopore and what is blastopore opening of arkentiron is called blastopore dear students that blastopore will be the future mouth in protostom and it will be the future anus in deuterostom iske basis pe ye do groups banaye gaye blastopore the blastopore become the blastopore become future mouth in protostomes and that blastopores will become the future anus in deuterostomes iske buniyad pe ye do groups banaye gaye hain protostomes aur deuterostome to sabse pehle hum define karenge protostomes ko the word protostome comes from greek word protos means fast and stoma means mouth in these animals the blastopore of arkentiron forms the mouth in me jo blastopore hai usse pehle kaun sa uh, structure form hoga mouth in protostomes the mouth is formed earlier than the anus first the mouth is developed than the anus and what are the phyla placed in protostomata protostomes include members of phylum annelida mollusca and arthropoda teen phyla ko place kiya gaya hai protostomata mein kaun se annelida mollusca aur arthropoda ab hum define karenge deuterostomata ko deuterostomes ko it comes from greek word deutero means second and stoma means mouth 
in these animals the blastopore or archenteron forms the anus isme blastopore se pehle anus develop hoga anus is formed earlier than the mouth the first opening developed in deuterostomes from the blastopore is anus and the mouth is formed later on ab hum examples padhenge kaun se phyla ko place kiya gaya hai deuterostomata mein deuterostomes include members of phylum echinodermata and chordata to do phyla ko place kiya gaya hai deuterostomata mein so dear students that was the classification on the basis of feature of or fate of blastopore sabse last mein hum padhenge development patterns in embryo now embryonic development pattern in animals what is embryogenesis the formation and development of an embryo is called embryogenesis and dear students embryonic development starts with the fertilization of egg ovum by sperm now look at here dear students sperm is known as male gamete egg or ovum is known as female gamete the fusion of sperm and egg to form zygote is called fertilization fusion of sperm and egg to form zygote is called fertilization what is zygote what is zygote once fertilized the ovum is called zygote and remember zygote is a single cell but diploid a single diploid cell now this zygote undergo a series of mitotic cell division called cleavage called cleavage the zygote undergo a series of mitotic divisions called cleavage now see first cleavage divides the zygote into two cell first cleavage divides the zygote into how many cells two cells and remember the cells of cleavage are called blastomeres so the first cleavage produces how many blastomeres two blastomeres and dear student second cleavage divides the two blastomeres into how many four blastomeres and dear students third cleavage divides the four blastomeres into eight blastomeres तो इस तरह क्लीवेज में ब्लास्टोमियस की क्वांटिटी इंक्रीज होगी और सबसे पहले एम्ब्रोनिक डेवलपमेंट में एक राउंडेड ग्लोब्यूलर एम्ब्रियो फॉर्म होता है डी उसको हम क्या पढ़ाते हैं मारियोला मारियोला इज अ राउंडेड बॉल लाइक एम्ब्रियो द मारियोला इज द फास्ट एम्ब्रोनिक स्टेज how it is formed formed by cleavage of zygote and how many cells are present in marula marula is a globular rounded solid mass of cells and how many cells it contains it contains 16 to 32 blastomeres or dear students marula ki formation ko marulation kaha jata hai formation of marula is called marulation तो सबसे पहले जो एम्ब्रॉनिक डेवलपमेंट में एम्ब्रॉनिक स्टेज फॉर्म होता है मरियुला फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मरियुला इज कॉल मरियुलेशन देन कम्स ब्लास्टुला स्टेज एंड द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ ब्लास्टुला इज कॉल ब्लास्टुलेशन तो अब हम सेकंड एम्ब्रॉनिक स्टेज की तरफ मूव करेंगे ब्लास्टुला देन सेल माइग्रेशन सेल्स माइग्रेट करते हैं और एक हालो एम्ब्रियो फॉर्म करते हैं ब्लास्टुला then the cell migration results in a hollow embryo called blastula dear students this is a hollow embryo this hollow embryo is known as blastula there is a cavity in blastula there is a cavity in blastula the cavity inside the blastula is called blastocoel embryo with blastocoel is called blastula and the formation of blastula is called blastulation what is blastulation formation of blastula is called blastulation uske baad cells ki further migration hogi some cells of blastula migrate inward producing a triploblastic embryo that triploblastic embryo is called gastula dear students yahan pe dekhen ye cells ki inward migration ho rahi hai ये सेल्स की इनवर्ड माइग्रेशन हो रही है 
इस इनवर्ड माइग्रेशन को हम पढ़ाते हैं इनवेजिनेशन और यहां पे एक ट्यूब या एक कैविटी बनेगी और कैंटीरॉन और इस एम्ब्रियो को हम क्या पढ़ाते हैं गेस्ट्यूला वॉट इज गेस्ट्यूलेशन फॉर्मेशन ऑफ गेस्ट्यूला इस कॉल गेस्ट्यूलेशन और इनवेजिनेशन में एक ट्यूब बनेगा या एक कैविटी बनेगी इनवेजिनेशन में एक ट्यूब बनेगा दैट ट्यूब इज कॉल आर कैंटीरॉन आर कैंटीरॉन वॉट इज आर कैंटीरॉन द ट्यूब प्रोड्यूस बाय इनवेजिनेशन इनवर्ड मूवमेंट इज कॉल इनवेजिनेशन इज कॉल आर कैंटीरॉन दैट विल बिकम द गट इससे एलिमेंट्री कैनॉल बनेगा और डियर स्टूडेंट्स इस आर कैंटीरॉन के ओपनिंग को क्या कहा जाता है ब्लास्टोपोर द ओपनिंग ऑफ आर कैंटीरॉन इज कॉल ब्लास्टोपोर वॉट इज ब्लास्टोपोर ओपनिंग ऑफ आर कैंटीरॉन इज कॉल ब्लास्टोस्पोर एंड डियर स्टूडेंट्स आज हमने पढ़ा है फ्यूचर फेड ऑफ ब्लास्टोपोर द ब्लास्टोपोर बिकम्स फ्यूचर माउथ इन प्रोटोस्टोम्स एंड इट बिकम्स फ्यूचर एनस इन ड्यूटेरोस्टोम्स so dear, dear students in this lecture in this part we have discussed the remaining three features of classification in animals and now we have completed all the bases of classification animals dear students tomorrow i will be with you a next topic with a next topic uh, phylum porifera wish you all of the best dear students allah bless you